and we're live. Greetings, friends. Jay Lash with the thumbs ups. Appreciate you, friend. Happy Friday. I know I'm always going to have a good stream when I see Jay Lash and his thumbs ups. Thumbs ups to Jay Lash. Ben's trends is here and he has a yawn. Never Weekend says, what's up? Uh, what's up with you, friend? Appreciate you being here. Miko says, hello, Super Antonio and Sadie. Hello, mods. Howdy, folks. Howdy, Miko. I'm glad you're here. And for once, Sadie the Channel Dog is up and ready for action. David is here and says, howdy, y'all. Greetings, David. Happy Friday. On Fridays, we free roam. How are you, friend? I got your, um, got your pet photos. Your boys are looking strong. Um, and what's for dinner? Ben says, how's it going, Super Antonio? It's going quite well. Thank you, sir. And David says, there he is. There you are. We're kind of looking for ambient views right now. I wanted to see how it looked from the bridge. The weather wasn't really cooperating. I, I prefer a cloudless sky or, or, um, we really should be doing this at noon. So we get rid of that morning haze. But the views have to be really clear. But this bridge has potential. But we didn't get any views today. I have an interesting story for you guys. It's somewhat amusing. Um, well, it was amusing to me. It's an interesting coincidence. I'll tell it when, um, when more viewers jump into the chat. In the meantime, we'll just kind of hang out. We made it to Friday. How are you, friends? How's your weekend look? How was your week? My week was really busy. David says, Miko Benz, 17. Um, the edge of 17, David. But, you know, my week really starts when your week ends. My week starts on your Friday, which is my Monday, where we do these live streams all weekend long, Friday through Monday. The Bad Honor Free Roam, the Saturday Horse Show, which will feature the uh, Black Arabian, Sunday Campfire Chat, and then Marston Mondays. Ben says, I've gotten back into Red Dead 2. I only switch between Arthur and John files in free roam and ride around. I'm glad I've found enjoyment in the game once again. Well done, Ben's. And Ben says, another week conquered. Miko says, hey, David. Hello, J. Lash, Ben's, and never weaken. Miko, send in pictures of your snakes. I don't know if you saw, but I released a, um, the open pet call video. It's only three minutes long. It hasn't gotten great views, but I didn't really promote it. And you know, it's like, but it has gotten great response in terms of um, pet pictures so far. So we've got we've got a bunch. We've got David's. We've got Serena's. Um, I believe O Dog sent a picture, but he sent it through Instagram um, of his cat. So we're doing pretty good as far as pet uh, pet photos go, but we need more, and that video needs more. Miko says, "Yeah, I saw your video. I'll send some pictures." Well done, Miko. Appreciate you, friend. Let's take a look at some of these snakes, and it's time for a routine. Camp inspection in Red Dead Redemption 2. O Dog is here. Greetings, O Dog. Welcome. I'm going to tell a story, O Dog, that you will appreciate. Being a man of the world, O Dog says, Sup, Davy boy. David, uh, you did not tell us what was for dinner. And did you notice here that, my friends, is a rifle scabbard? which is not available in the game. What's that about? Odog says, I'll try to find another pick. Um, yeah, I saw the one you sent or tagged me in, um, in Instagram. I'm not exactly sure how to like download that 
into um, apart from just taking a screenshot, which I can do. But I would like a higher quality one if one is available. Oh, dog. Ben says, I'm getting a new bulldog. They were just born, so I have to wait a few weeks till I can pick her up. See if you um, if you visit her, just take a newborn picture because that would be super cute. Make sure it's horizontal. David has the moon dog emoticons. And Ben says, I wish I could send my boxer, but I'm not able to. Okay, Ben's, don't worry about it. We're getting, um, if it's a success, we shall do another pet, uh, pet show at a future point. David says, nuggets and fries, chicken nuggets. And look, here's Biscuit and Biscuit's mom. However, this is the bad honor, Arthur. So we just gave her a little nudge. So she runs away. We're not going to kill her. You can't kill Biscuit's mom. Odok had chips and salsa and cheese dip. Fresh fruit now. That sounds delicious. I'm craving sweet potato fries again. But I had, I had, you'll appreciate David, a new dish that I am calling enchilada salad. They're beef enchiladas. But beef enchiladas, and I just dumped, um, I dumped a salad on top of it, and it was delicious. 16 viewers in the chat. Welcome, friends. I have a story for you. Now that we have enough people here, happy Friday, I will tell it. It's rather involved, and as always, it involves... Sadie, the channel dog, who is our co-host and currently asleep. Okay, when we first moved here, um, we started going down to a park uh, a couple blocks away, and we still go to that park every morning. The park has tennis courts. So what does tennis court mean? Tennis balls, okay? And this one loves tennis balls. She knows we're talking about her. So... It was very, I, I it was like we had just moved here. So I think we'd been here for like a couple months, three months. And she picked up this tennis ball that was like the filthiest, dirtiest, dog slobberiest, most horrifying tennis ball you ever seen. But she loved it. Um, and so I told her, okay, you can have it, but you got to bring it home because I'm not going to touch that thing. So she was happy to do it. So we're walking and she's holding this thing in her mouth and just very happy and so we're walking home and we stop at the um, crosswalk and which is very busy in the morning with the morning commute it's like a four-way traffic everywhere there's a starbucks on one side um you know there's lots of people taking right turns and trying to cut us off it's it's the most hazardous part of the walk um and so she knows that she needs to get she needs to sit between my legs, and, um, and then she gets a treat. But she's holding this tennis ball in her mouth, okay? Um, so I was like, what's she going to do? So she drops the tennis ball because she wants the treat. Tennis ball rolls out into traffic, and we just watch it roll out. And, you know, it's like, and it's a green, so we can't get it, you know. It's like, and there's cars everywhere. Um, so I said, well, I'll try to get it when we have the light. And she's looking really sad. So anyways, this uh, <laughs> this uh, Corvette, this white Corvette, um, it's a new one. I thought it was a Lambo from the front. It was a beautiful car. Uh, stops. This lady in a white Corvette stops, blocks off traffic, and just smiles and waves at us. So I, you know, I ran out, uh, grabbed, the, grabbed the tennis ball, and um, we went back to the light so she could pass and we could wait for our, for our light. And, you know... I smiled and waved, and, date in, and um, Sadie was happy, and, but I didn't let her hold the ball anymore. I was like, no, I'll hold on to that. Thank you, even though it was filthy and disgusting. Okay, so that was about, I'd say, a year and a half ago. And just so you know, here's the ball. And if you've ever wondered what's inside a tennis ball, that's what's inside. 
So she has about five of these. She collects them. And I have new ones that, you know, I bought a can of new ones for her. Okay. So yesterday on the afternoon walk, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, thinking about videos and she's doing routine grass and tree inspections. And she turns around um, because someone's following us and, and, um, and it's not like a stranger danger turnaround, but to her, every stranger is a new friend, is a friend she hasn't met, which is a wonderful way to live your life. And I try to, you know, I try to have that same attitude when someone new comes in the chat. And to, for, for us, it works perhaps 90% of the time. But, you know, for her, it's like, you're obviously a friend. That's why you're, you're coming up behind us. So I just like, I see her turn around and I hear this voice go, hi, baby, like that, in that tone. And I assume it's someone we know, obviously. Why are you being so friendly? Um, and so I turned around, never seen this lady before, okay? Um, and she's just like uh, smiling and happy, and she's like gushing effusively over Sadie, saying, I had a dog just like her. She's wearing a pink harness, so you can tell that she's a she. Um, she said, um, same marking, same size, same, um, same brown patch over, but her, but his, her dog's brown patch was over the right, um, the right ear, and and so and and she goes, um, "Do you mind if I pet your dog?" And I said, "Yes, of course." She's very friendly, and she says, "I just lost my dog," and so I'm, I'm like, "Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that." Okay, and so she like gets down, uh, she doesn't get on her knees, but she squats down and she's giving Sadie a hug, which is you know for like someone who who just met this dog. Um, I mean, that's fine, I guess, but, you know, I, I've never hugged a strange dog. We've known, there's dogs that I've known, you know, through our walks for like two years now that I've just, I've barely pet. Um, you know, like I, I, might, I might scratch a forehead or something, but, you know, so she's like hugging this dog and she's happy. And so I'm like, I'm, and okay, let's end. <laughs> and she's kind of cute. She's older, and um, she was very well dressed. I, I got, I got the impression that she was a realtor. I got a realtor vibe from her. Not that I've met many realtors. Just realtor, uh, perfume counter, um, saleswoman type vibe. Okay. And she's in her forties. Nice hair. Nice shoes. Smelled good. Smelled good. Oh dog. Um, and she, and she goes, she looks up at me while she's holding my dog. And she goes, you know, I've seen you two before. And so I said, oh, really? And I said, yes, um, yes. She dropped a tennis ball in traffic and I stopped my car so you could, so you could retrieve it. <laughs> so I said, oh, of course I remember you. You were driving a Corvette. And she goes, yeah, oh yeah, that was my husband's car. We're divorced. And so, you know, um, I'm thinking, you know, and I'm like looking at, I'm just thinking, is um, this lady flirting with me? What's going on here? Did she just ask me if I wanted a deluxe bath? What's going on? Um, so I, uh, I said, oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. You know, you got to be polite. What are you supposed to say? I'm Super Antonio. Um, so I, uh, you know, and, you know, she just kind of like, um, she finally got up and, um, and said, thank you. And so I said, you can, you can pet Sadie anytime you want, anytime you see her, you're welcome to. I'm very sorry about your dog. You have a great day. Connie numbers. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate you friend. Um, and she, uh, walked off in our direction towards her car, which was a, um, which was a Tesla, a black Tesla. Girls like Teslas. What's that about? Um, and so, yeah, she drove off and I told Sadie what I always tell her. Look, you made a new friend. What's that about? What it, what's it like everywhere you go? 
everybody loves you. And Sadie, of course, has just moved on to like the next patch of grass, you know, it's like, and the next adventure. And I'm like, still got it, Super Antonio. Um, but you know, it's not like I got her number or even her name. We might see her again. She, um, she seems to be in the neighborhood. It'd be, she seemed rich. It'd be nice to, uh, date a rich heiress like, um, like uncle wanted to. Um, <laughs> Christian's here. Christian says, hello, Super Antonio. I made it. Happy Friday to all you folks. And you and Sadie, what was for dinner, Super Antonio? I'm having pizza right now. I had enchilada salad, Christian. David says, Chris. Odog says, sup, see. And Miko says, well, that could be a good sign right there, friend. Well, I don't know. It's like it was an interesting coincidence, but my life has been seasoned by interesting coincidences. They, you know, they're they're quite common for me. Um, so I don't know. I like these things to proceed organically. I don't like to make an effort, you know. It's like it's going to happen if it's going to happen. Uh, Odog is laughing. <laughs> and David says, tell her you appreciate her view. <laughs> um, she had nice hair and she smelled good. Um, she, seemed, she seemed attractive from what I could tell. I... I wasn't really looking at her view. I was more concerned with how how many hands she had over all over my dog. But she wasn't a threat, you know, obviously. She's not like she's going to dog nap or anything. And she um she had nice nails. Expensive. She looked expensive. Um Christian says sup Odog and David hope both of y'all Y'all days have been well, friends. Miko says, you do get to meet some interesting people while walking your dog. Unfortunately, snakes don't usually have the same effect. <laughs> yeah, Miko, I'm sorry, but snakes are, uh, snakes are a specialty item. But you know, Eve liked the snake. So, so you never know. Ben says, I would send my boxer, but my parents are always check everything on my email and they are weird about stuff. But maybe next time I will send my pets, good sir. Don't worry about it, Ben's. Appreciate you being here, friend. Tinker, greetings, friend, says, hey, Super Antonio, why don't you make videos of mods that often? Do you just prefer unmodded Red Dead Redemption 2? I'm sure a lot of people would enjoy it. Tinker, um, I have some modded videos uh, of the horses we, ha we do have Save Wizard, and we do have Bodicea, the liver chestnut Hungarian half-bred. But in general, I like the videos to be accessible to, um, to everyone who's playing. You know, like, so you don't have to mod, or it's a really easy mod, like using version 1. It just seems... I don't want to show people things that are difficult to get. Because it just seems a little clickbaity to me, and frustrating. For the viewer to see something that, you know, that's not available unless you have a PC or, um, you know, a mod, save wizard, something like that. But I appreciate you being here, Tinker. Um, Odok says, Tinker, we try to limit cheating here. Yes, absolutely. We're, we try not to cheat. We are here, Odog, in Bolger Glade to see that if we can, um, Hear some of those mysterious whispers. Spoiler alert, we do not. It may have to do with our honor, which of, which is currently in the negative, in the red, in the tank. But we're going to spend the night here. Ben says, Miko, you don't walk your snakes. I walk my eight-foot alligator all the time. Don't worry, his mouth is duct-taped. <laughs> And Tinker says, well, Odog, I'm referring to modded horses, etc. There's plenty of mods I've seen. Sorry for the confusion, Odog. No worries, Tinker. Appreciate you being here, friend. Odog says, yeah, I know. I was just saying, we all use a trick or two. Uh, probably the, the most popular trick on the channel for, 
for me is either Albert Mason's Biscuit or just free roaming in uh, in version one. Ben says, "Hey Miko, do you have a skunk? A skink? I'm not sure what that is. They are such a cool reptile." Miko says, "Haha, Ben's. Well, to be fair, they don't really walk. Yeah, they kind of slither." Odok says, especially to get a good horse. Yeah, this channel is all about the horses. David says, think it has to be a stormy night. Interesting. Um, yeah, and then all these bounty hunters showed up to, like, interfering with our paranormal investigations. Tinker says, also, thanks for the method on how to get Biscuit before the, before the epilogue. I'm currently riding Biscuit through Saint Denis as Arthur Morgan, and she has a beautiful horse. Yeah, she's my favorite horse, Tinker. She has been very good for the channel, and Arthur will not kill these guard dogs, which is going to turn into a disaster for us. We should find some higher ground. Ben says, I was wearing the red paisley vest as Arthur. I really like the vests on Arthur, if I'm not wearing the default. Yeah, vests are essential. See, trying to shoo him away. That's not really working. It's 1899. All gentlemen wore vests. Christian says, Super Antonio, we appreciate you as well, friend. Lost your comment, Christian. Tinker says, I'll, um, Ben says, I was, actually, no, we're all caught up. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, so that happened. It was interesting. I needed to, I wanted to share that with you. Our adventures, our walking adventures. Odog is laughing and crying. And back to Bulger Glade we go. That was a nice looking Corvette. It didn't look like a Corvette from the front. I really thought it was a Lambo or some kind of high end. <clears throat> supercar although you can also argue that the corvette is the american supercar it did look like a corvette from behind it was just the nose um is different now and i do like the um well i like the classic ones the stingrays odog says nothing worse than an irresponsible dog owner and Odog says, those are laugh emojis. I need to, I need to make you laugh, Odog. You need to laugh more. Um, Kristen says, Super Antonio, we appreciate you, friend, for making great videos and live streams for us and always letting us see Sadie when she's always sleeping on the job, but she's still as beautiful as ever. Yeah, she's down here. She's sort of paying attention. Ben says, when I go through the part of the story helping the natives, I wear the feather accessory on Arthur's hat, kind of like they gave it to him after his assistance. That is a nice touch, Benz. Miko says, Benz, I don't have a blue-tongued skink. Is that a snake? Maybe Serena has seen some. They are from her neck of the woods. Skink. Let's look up skink. Wow, what is that thing? Skinks are lizards belonging to the family Cinciderae, a family in the infraorder of Cincomorphia, with more than 1,500 described species across 100 different taxonomic genera. The family of Cincidae are one of the most diverse families of lizards. Yeah, you could have just said lizard. Wow, what is that? There's a common five-legged 
five-lined skink in Ontario. Interesting. They are docile, quiet, gentle, and easily tamed, which is why they make great beginner pets. Also, the blue-tongued skink can form a close bond with you. Interesting. They look like a miniature dinosaur. Ben says, Miko, I was wondering if you had one. I read about them a lot. Some very interesting animals. Tinker says, I am more of a cat person, but I have to say Sadie is the cutest dog I've seen today. Well, Tinker, I appreciate that. And um, I don't know if you know we're having a, a pet show, a Bureau pet show. So you are more than welcome to send your 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 uh, pictures of your cat into into to Red Dead Super Antonio at gmail.com. I made a video. It's the latest video on the channel. And... Just like the horse show, I'll wait like two or three weeks before we close the close the window for the pet show. And Tinker says, I'll send some photos of my cats. Well done, Tinker. Miko says, look up the blue-tongued skink, Super Antonio. They look really good. Do they really have a blue tongue? Blue-tongued skink. They have like a snake head and an alligator body, and they're pretty long. They're like, they look like they're 14 inches, 14, 15 inches long, and they definitely have a blue tongue. Um, interesting. 14 viewers in the chat. Welcome, friend. Happy. Friends, happy Friday. We are currently in Bulger Glade trying to hear the mysterious whispers. Got my green tea. And I'm thinking more about the snack stream, Odog. That was a great idea on doing it on Mother's Day which is May 15th, we shall be doing a, I think it's May 15th. Let's, let me look it up. I guess it's May 12th, but it is in, it's only the 19th. So it's in three weeks. We shall do a, uh, a Sunday campfire snack stream where I'm going to eat a bunch of snacks and we'll let Sadie try them, of course. So they'll be dog-friendly human food snacks. And we will rate them. And hopefully you guys will be eating snacks as well. So it'll be like we're sharing the snacks together. Ben says, I want to do more challenges than my John save. I have 40 out of 90 done, including hunter, explorer, and weapons expert. I feel like it will be exhausting. Uh, it's a grind, but it's a fun grind if you love the game. You know, it, it just depends on how you view it. I mean, if it's, I mean, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Play the game if you love it. Or do the challenges if you love them. But don't if you don't. Unless you're trying to go for some kind of achievement, of course. So we're just listening, and I, I went through the, um, I stripped out the audio and enhanced it. Not in this video, just, you know, and listened with headphones just to see if I could pick anything up. But we didn't get any whispers at all. But I felt like a real ghost hunter looking for EVPs. But like David says, perhaps it has to be a dark and stormy night. 
Ben says, I'm not looking forward to Gambler and Herbalist. Bandit sounds fun. Have you not done the challenges before, Ben's? Serena's here, says, hi, Antonio. I'm sorry I'm late. I've been watching and listening. I was getting something to eat. And Serena says, hi, everyone. Everyone say hi to Serena. Serena, what did you get to eat? And did you bring enough for everyone? David has, says, uh, has the star heart emoticons. And Serena says, David. And Benz has a star heart emoticon. And Christian says, hello, Serena. Glad you have made it to the stream. Happy Friday. Hope your day has gone well. Serena says, say hi to your wife, David. And Miko says, hello, Serena. Serena, I have the pictures of your cats. For off of PS4 for the pet show. So you're all set. Serena says, hi, Benz. Hi, Christian. Odog has the star heart emoticons. And Serena says, hi, Miko. Ben says, I've only completed 30 before. After I lost my main save file, I had to redo the 30. Never gotten the Legend of the East outfit before. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. You got to get it done, Ben. So you got to do that at least once. Serena says, hi, O-Dog, and hi, Christian. Serena, glad you're here. You never have to apologize. It's nice having a full mod crew. And what's going on over here? It's the safe, guys. Spoiler alert. Serena says, had ham and cheese sandwiches. It's lunchtime here because Serena is living in the future. Were they hot? Were they toasted, Serena, or were they cold? Yeah. And Serena says, thanks, David. Good morning, sirs. Routine. Good morning, gentlemen. Routine safe inspection. Okay, let's get back to a safe distance. David, did you ever see American Horror Story double feature? I think that's, I, I don't, don't tell, ask what season it is, but there's two stories. The first ones are uh, vampires in, um, in New England or way up, way back east. They're, I think they're in Cape Cod. But as I recall, I've watched it before and I liked the first story and I didn't like the second one so I'm watching the first one and I'm enjoying it thoroughly I've been on an American Horror Story binge ever since I finished Freak Show which I really enjoyed it's probably my favorite of the um the whole series kind of worth getting on Blu-ray if I find it used David says, you need more Red Dead videos, Star Hearts. You look like you forgot how to ride a horse. <laughs> and Serena says, they were toasted on the griller. Yeah, I like toasted ham and cheese sandwiches. And Serena says, LOL, David. Yes, I'm finishing GTA 5. I'll play Red Dead again, probably today. Yeah, if she's playing GTA 5, um, David, she's got Grand Theft Auto reflexes, which are slightly different. Horse is so rude. All we wanted to do was blow up that dynamite stash. Yep. One annoying thing, because I keep going back and forth between Witcher 3 and um and this game is to dismount in this game, of course, as you know, is triangle. And to dismount in Witcher 3 is circle. And circle in this game is kick. So if you see me, um, if you see Arthur kick, it's because I just finished playing Witcher 3 and I forgot. Really enjoying the Witcher 3 playthrough. 
Um, it's a it's a refreshing change from this game. We are, I believe, we're at level nineteen or twenty. We just unlocked a new area called Skellige, which is kind of like Ireland but Vikings, Irish Vikings, or perhaps Scottish Vikings. And all I wanted to do here was get arrested so that we could see if we could get another jailbreak. And spoiler alert, oh boy, did we get a jailbreak. Ben says the only thing about uh, The Legend of the East is the luck parts of it. Could probably get a whole 10 challenges done in one day. No, I don't think so. But Gambler and Horseman could be the long points. I think you could in theory, get the all 10 challenges done in a weekend. I don't know. If you're, like, playing nonstop for 12 hours, maybe, but you have to concentrate on those things. Morning. Good morning, so I'm not sure you could do it all in one day. You could definitely get the Legends of the East satchel in one day. Serena says, Antonio, hope the pictures I sent you were enough of the cat and the kitten. Yes, they were, Serena. And um, we're gonna do this. We're gonna have a horse. Uh, we're gonna have a video, uh, a pet show. I think the first pet show, the first annual pet show, in Red Dead Redemption Two. Fourteen viewers in the chat. Welcome, friends. Happy Friday. On Fridays we free roam. Ben says, I was talking about a whole 10 challenges of a category like Bandit 1 through 10. Yeah, you can get that done in a day. Christian says, Serena, have you posted a video yet? I fell asleep when I got home this week is my last regular week schedule. The whole next month, I will have to take milestones. And Serena says, I love the mail breaks. The jail breaks, she means. Yeah, we're getting another one. And Serena says, yes, I did, Christian. Yeah, I watched that one. The Red Dead one with John, I believe. Okay. We're supposed to leave as soon as possible. I wanted to get extra dialogue with um, Mr. Vanderlind. And we ran straight into a bunch of bounty hunters. And instead of running away, which is what you're supposed to do, Arthur decided to, to stay and fight and see what happens. Spoiler alert, Dutch dies. Which would usually, like, if you're in a mission, that would, like, fail the mission and you'd have to real... But um, because it's a free roam event, it just kept going. Ben says, but at least I'll have done 40 out of 50, though, so not starting from square one like some people. Serena, I knew you meant jailbreak. And Christian says, well, thanks for letting me know. I will be sure to watch it after this stream if I haven't watched it. Well done, Christian. And here is where Arthur decided to take to make our final stand. Serena says, no, Antonio, was GTA 5 the big score mission? No, I saw a John video. I didn't watch the GTA 5. So I guess I didn't watch your latest. Look, Arthur dropped his, um, his Lancaster. His bull... And I'm too distracted by health. Did you notice that? Someone shot the health tonic out of his hand. Ben says, I've been watching smaller content creators recently, and that's where I find the gems, especially through a small channel called Coop Troop. Okay, Ben's.
Okay, we picked up a repeater. But we need a long gun. Note the count is not leaving and freaking out and we didn't really pay attention with like there, Dutch just died. I don't know if you saw that, but he's on the ground. Ben says, if I needed a low honor horse, I'm taking the unruly bastard. Yeah. See, there's Dutch. Doesn't have anything on him. A dollar eighty nine. So what I wanted to do was, because you can pick him up, so I wanted to take him back to camp. But first, we got to get rid of all these jokers. And they wouldn't stop spawning. Christian says, no problem, Serena. How was your day, friend? And David says, all right, guys and gals. Going to call it a night. Not feeling too well. I'm sorry to hear that, David. You get rest. You get some rest. Appreciate you, friend. Um, you have a great weekend. Thanks for being here. David has the Star Heart and the Moon Dog emoticons. Yeah, David, you get well soon. David says, Mr. Super Antonio. David, Mr. David. Thank you, friend. Ben says, bye, Dave. Miko says, good night, David. Get well soon. And David says, see ya, fellers. Yeah, give my regards to your lovely wife. Happy wife. Happy life. Those jokers just won't leave us alone. And they won't go away. And Starheart says, okay, David, feel better soon with the Starheart emoticon. Serena says, enjoy your weekend. Piebald. We already have one of those. Christian says, bye, David. Enjoy the rest of your day, friend. And the count's going nowhere. Count doesn't know what to do. That was a redhead. Bounty hunter. Ben says, in my case, it would be happy girlfriend, happy life. Yes, Benz. The same principle applies. No, actually, Benz, in your case, it's happy mom, happy life. Odok says, later on, fella. Happy mother, happy home. Odog says, be right back. No worries, Odog. We can hold on the hold down the fort. Got Serena here. This event just ate up all our supplies. All our big game mints and all our um, miracle tonics. These guys just wouldn't quit. Usually they're like, the waves are timed, but this time they just kept like spawning instantly. Ben says, long hair Arthur is so underrated. He looks cool with long hair. John looks off to me without long, greasy hair. Well, you know, pomade technically is hair grease. Serena says, think today is the last day we look after the kitten that we were looking at. Miss her already. She's not gone yet. Yeah, I know. It's nice to have kittens in the house. Kitten energy. Just a little baby to take care of that needs your help. I like that. Same with puppies. No, puppies are way more active than kittens. 
Or rather, puppies can get in way more trouble than kittens. So we got some high ground, and that makes it a little easier. And then we can at least see the people coming. But right now, I don't even know what happened to our horse. I, I actually thought we lost the horse. But we didn't. Looks like they're coming from Saint Denis. Serena says, I love my Arthur and John with long hair. I like him with hair about this length, collar length. Kristen says, Don't forget to like this great live stream um, Super Antonio has decided to do for us, friends. Appreciate you, Christian. Yes, like and subscribe. Check out the second channel. Additionally, you may have noticed that I have Amazon affiliate links, which is an easy way to support the channel. If you click on a link, you obviously, you, um, I would get a commission if you bought that product, but you don't have to buy that product. Any product you buy off Amazon after clicking that link, I will get a commission on. It's just pennies, but it all adds up and it's at no additional cost to you. So if you shop on Amazon, if you have an Amazon account, um, I, would, I would appreciate, and Sadie down here would appreciate if you used one of our links to get to the site. That is the last I will talk about the Amazon affiliate links in this live stream. Thank you for being here, friends. Happy Friday. Ben says, I wish we had John's 1899 outfits in the epilogue, his long gray shotgun coat, and the gambler hat look from chapter four to six was cool. And Serena says, I already liked it a while ago. Well, I already liked you a while ago. Um, now we're looking for Dutch. But these guys, I thought we had a break here, but no. These guys just won't leave us alone. Kristen says, Super Antonio, I have a game you could try. Not sure if you've heard of it. It's called Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. Great game. I've heard of the Uncharted series, Christian. And Ben says, cool fact, John's gambler hat looks almost exactly like Butch Cassidy's hat from Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. That's a great movie. Ben's. Raindrops keep falling on my head. That movie was also about the end of the outlaw era. See, and here come more of those jokers. Arthur at the end. That's the last we see of Arthur. We haven't gone back to camp yet. I'm sure Dutch is fine. Don't worry, Dutch is only sleeping. Serena says, I played Uncharted 4, Christian. I have uploaded. It's in my playlist. Is it a game you would play again, Star Hearts? Ben says, The River Jump from that film was great. Loved the reference to it in Chapter 6. Yes, Ben, I'm glad you caught that. See, I thought we lost the horse. We did not. Christian says, Thanks for letting me know, Serena. I'm going to get the game on my birthday. That sounds like a fine birthday present. We're going to need to restock on big game. Serena says, I would play again. It was an awesome game. Serena, you're an awesome game. We need to get rid of this horse. This horse is bad luck. 
And Serena says, you're welcome, Christian. It's an amazing game. Serena, have you watched American Horror Story? It's on Amazon Prime, but if you have Netflix, I'm sure it's on Netflix. It's on. It's very easy to stream it. And if you have not watched it, I am absolutely 100% certain you would enjoy it. Serena says, no, I haven't, Antonio, watched it. Oh, I'm so, have you heard of it? Serena, you'd love it. American Horror Story. If you, um, it's on Amazon Prime, but if you don't have Amazon Prime, um, you could check your um, streaming service. I'm sure it's available. I mean, if you can get The Walking Dead, you can get American Horror Story. Ben says, I love making cool Western outfits and walking around armadillo and tumbleweed with John's thick mustache. Serena says, I've heard of it. Well, Serena, they, um, every episode, every season has a different horror theme. And then they use the same actors in different roles. So the first one was a haunted house. The second one was uh, a haunted um, insane asylum that, you know, there were aliens. So it's like science fiction and horror. The third one was witches in New Orleans. Then the fourth one was a freak show, which is my favorite one. Um, and then after that, they get kind of like they did a, like a reality show. But they're all like horror or like science fiction and scary and interesting and clever. Oh, the, actually, season five was a, a haunted hotel with Lady Gaga as a vampire. And, and that was like at the height of Lady Gaga's um, popularity, you know, like, you know, like the born this way. I mean, she's still popular now, but she's not like wearing meat dresses and, um, and poker face and all that. So, yeah, but I would start at the beginning with the first one, which is called Murder House. Watch all the seasons. I think they have like 10 or 12 seasons. Ben says, I hope to grow a stash like your Arthur when I get older, Super Antonio. That is a fine um, ambition, Ben's. I would certainly do it myself if I could, but I can't. Serena says, I watched Bates Motel a while ago. Yeah, I've been watching Bates Motel. I love Bates Motel, Serena. So much to say. Didn't you love, um, what's her name? Her name's not Donna. I can't remember. Well, one, I love Norma. I love that lady's performance. Bates Motel. Did you like Dylan? Did you think he was dreamy? Emma. Emma Dakota, yeah, I like Emma. I was really afraid for Emma, but Emma's fine. Emma does fine in that show. Christian says, Serena, have you heard of the game A Way Out? Had the best plot to the game. And Ben says, I just saw there was a Red Dead 2 mod. Coming out on the Red Dead 2 mod site, an, Ubi, an Uzi submachine gun for Arthur. Well, we don't really do mods on this show. Horse mods. Serena says, yes, I've heard of it. Isn't that game where you have to play with another player? Christian, is that the prison one? I'm not sure, Serena. I have not heard of that game. 
Serena says, yes, was a great show. Bates Motel. Yes, I like Dylan. Yeah, I knew you did. He was put there for you girls. But um, the Norman, Freddie Highmore, he was a really good Norman. Just um, his, his performance was really enthused and informed by um, the original performance by uh, Anthony Perkins. And so many great references to the original movies and to Hitchcock movies in general. I was planning to make a, a video on it for the second channel before I got sidetracked by all these movie quote shorts. Ben says, well, I got to head out, friends. Much love and see you all tomorrow. Okay, Ben's tomorrow's horse show will be the Black Arabian. And now we are getting some dog photos for the pet show. And Sunday is a campfire chat. Serena says, yes, he played well, Norman. I liked Emma the girl. Yeah, she had a nice story, a nice arc. But yeah, I really enjoy that series. It's one of my favorite. I've seen it at least twice, perhaps three times all the way through. It's another series that I wouldn't mind getting on DVD or Blu-ray, but it's readily available on streaming. Miko says, bye, Benz. Serena says, bye, Benz. Enjoy your weekend with a heart emoticon. Serena, did you see Sadie? Sadie's here. Let's see if we can get her to sit up with some potent canine. Sit up. Hop, hop. Hop, hop. There you go. Say hi to, say hi to Serena. See? Look at the chat. Say hi to Miko and Christian. Christian, no, look over here. Look, look, look. I talk about you all the time. What's that about? Serena says, I like the mother acting. She was in The Conjuring. Yeah, I think it is as much her show that I think it is even more her show than um, Norman's show. <clears throat> Norma Bates. That's a, she wasn't named in the original movie. Or she was just known as Mrs. Bates. And that's enough streaming for Sadie. She has moved to the crate. Back on our piebald. Yeah, see if you can find American Horror Story. Serena. David has also watched it. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Christian says, hello, um, Serena, but I'm sure he meant Sadie. You look cute and beautiful as always. Be kind to Super Antonio. He is kind to you. Yeah, she's always kind to me. And Orag has the dog and dog paw emoticons and Arthur meant to do that. Serena says, say hi to Sadie. Miss her, beautiful girl. Uh, Sadie misses you. I put Sadie in the, in the pet show video. Of course I did. She's very photogenic. Way more photogenic than me. Oh, it's funny. You know, I've been taking selfies to put in the thumbnails, okay? <clears throat> and and I've noticed, like, my nose. You know, I've gotten, like, really self-conscious about my nose and my nostrils. And I was like, those, I don't, you know, when I look in the mirror, my nose doesn't look that big or that weird. And um, I just heard that the front-facing camera on a, on a phone it has a wide lens and so it just you know so you don't have to f hold it all the way out here you can hold it in front and it'll take but it'll make your nose wider and it'll make your ears smaller because it's like you know it's it's curving around you and i was like oh oh that's the problem so it's not you know it's because my 
um, the juxtaposition between my selfies and, you know, just looking at me in the mirror is very disheartening. So, um, can't use the front facing camera anymore. You have to use the regular camera and like put it on a timer. Um, which is harder for me, like to get the right angle and to, you know, and to, and I need to, um, make eye contact with the, uh, with the camera lens so that it looks like I'm looking at you. I feel that's really important. The eye contact in the thumbnail. And that's a lot harder if you're not using the front facing camera. So I don't know, but it was, it was interesting to realize that. Kristen, you never have to get embarrassed. Don't get embarrassed. There's, um, there's no need. And Sabina says, hello, Kristen. I knew what you meant. Don't get embarrassed. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You're doing fine, friend. And we might as well work a little bit on the Rattlesnake Vaquero saddle, which, as you know, requires 10 perfect snake pelts. So let's head off to Snake Island and grab some. Christian says, thanks, Serena. Just hate when I make typos, but everyone does. Yeah, don't worry about it. Everyone does it, Christian. Don't even give it another thought. Serena, we're going to do a snack stream <clears throat> on Sunday, but not for three weeks because we'll do it on Mother's Day. That'll be nice. So you should have snacks while I'm doing my snack stream. So it'll be like we're having snacks together. Where'd that snake go? I used to do this on horseback, but it's easier on foot um, because the horse doesn't freak out. I like the I like approaching the snake from above, but you can do it from below. I mean, from ground level. And here's a diamond back rattlesnake. Serena says, "You're welcome, Christian." Yes, I make typos too. And Christian says, "Yeah, we all do it." And Serena says, okay, that sounds good. The snack stream. Yes, it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Some YouTubers, that's all they do is eat on camera. I don't know if you're aware of that trend. It's very popular. It's called mukbang or mukbang. It's a Korean word. It originated in Korea. <clears throat> Where people eat on camera so that you have someone to eat with you if you're, um, if you're alone and feeling lonely. Which is, to me, it's kind of sad, but also kind of nice that, you know, that this has developed a way to connect, a way to feel a connection and to feel less lonely. If you feel, I mean, if you live by yourself and you don't, you know, I suppose eating alone can be can make you feel lonely that's one great thing about having a dog is you're never alone and you never feel lonely especially during meals that's the other thing about the snack stream is this one will be wide awake 
and interested. Serena says, I jump when Arthur John gets bitten by a snake, not expecting it. Yeah, that's true. We gotta grab these ducks. As much as I call this Snake Island, it is also Duck Island. We need the ducks for the animal fat and explosive rounds. Um, do you carry ginseng, Serena? Because if you're poisoned, you can just eat some ginseng. And that'll instantly um, counteract it. It's ginseng or sleep. But who wants to sleep? Serena says, or my online character gets bitten by a snake, I jump, lol. And Christy says, more Red Dead news. Serena jumps when Arthur or John is bitten by a snake. Like Super Antonio says, what's that about? Yeah, it's just an inconvenient, an inconvenience for me. But it's meant to be, you know, I, badgers will also bite at you. And something else, something else that's... I know badgers well, something else. One of those little yappy animals. Serena says, yes, I do carry ginseng. Sometimes I forget to take it. I forget to drink water. I just have um. And now, what happened to our bow? There's a snake. I prefer um, shooting these guys in the water because they can't really move out of the way. Um, the only problem is they if they get deep enough you won't be able to collect it. Like this one is a little too deep, but we still got it. I believe we have five already at the trappers, but we did not check. Serena says, yes, I know what you mean. Get bitten in swamps sometimes near the water. Don't know what it's called. That's the cotton mouth over there, I believe. Could be mistaken. You know who would know? David. David left us, however. David abandoned the chat. I know he's not feeling well, but I'm still teasing him. Now we are off to Emerald Ranch. By way of the swamp. I do love that horse. I think he works for... That horse works for good and bad, bad honor playthroughs just because... The horse is black and white. It could go either way. Back at Emerald, looking for more ducks and geese, which we can usually find at this body of water over here. Spoiler alert! That will not work for us today. And Neo Mac, greetings friend, happy Friday, says possums get aggressive. Yeah, maybe it's the possum. The badger, the badger I know definitely will nip at you. And Serena says it might be possums, Neo. 16 viewers in the chat, welcome friends, appreciate you being here. Happy Friday. On Fridays we free roam. Now we're just kind of looking for ducks and geese so that we can craft more explosive rounds. If you were not here earlier, we were arrested in Rhodes. Dutch blasted us out 
and then we got swarmed by bounty hunters and Dutch died and then Arthur died. Though in reality, both of them were only sleeping. So if you ride around the edge, you can usually scare up a flock of ducks. Sabrina says, could be raccoons, beavers, skunks, and badgers. If I get bitten again in Red Dead, I'm going to find who it is and hunt it, LOL. Yeah, I usually do that. Just for, just to show them who's boss. Who's boss in this game? And this lady. See, we're pretty much out of supplies. Christian says, how's Sadie right now, Super Antonio? She is in her crate. She's had enough of streams. She broke her leg. Not. And this is like, we actually, you know, this is a bad on our Arthur, but we didn't kill her. We just knocked her out. And so I'm happy about that. Serena says, I do when the buck knocks me over, lol. The, um, the wild boar will also knock you over. I wish we had more to do with that lady. I mean, that's the only time we meet her. And she doesn't really have lines. But she seems like a character that would be interesting to have more encounters with her or a DLC or something if you didn't kill her. Serena says, don't trust that lady. And Neo says, I love Red Dead Redemption 2 streams. Red Dead Redemption 2 streams love you, Neo Mac. Serena says, yes, had the boar knock me over too. Christian says, also heard you encountered another woman. Is that true, my friend? Uh, yeah, that was a um, that was an odd coincidence. I don't know if you were here, Serena, for that. If you replay the stream, you can hear the um, that story. That was interesting. It's very complicated. Went nowhere. Maybe I'll see her again. Maybe I won't. It's not really a big deal. You know what is a big deal is losing daylight, so we might as well camp, set up camp for the night. Also note that we are currently streaming in 1080p. What's that about? Uh, we were streaming in, in 720, but I thought it was a webcam issue, but it's not. It was a Streamlabs issue. So we changed the settings, and now we're at 1080p. Serena says, I will rewatch your stream like I always do. Appreciate you, Serena. Yeah, I told a funny story concerning me and Sadie and the dog walks and another random lady. And Arthur Morgan says, hello. Greetings, Arthur Mor Morgan. Happy Friday. On Fridays, we free roam. Appreciate you being here, friend. We're looking for ducks and geese. He goes, we need that one unit of animal fat. Four explosive rounds. Serena says, hi, Arthur.
Usually you can ride around the edge and scare up some ducks. That was not the case this time. Tomorrow night's viewer horse show will feature the Black Arabian yep. in Red Dead Redemption 2. We shall put Mary Beth in the thumbnail. Sabrina says, Antonio, are you and Sadie going to watch my latest video? It's an epic mission. Really enjoy doing the big score mission. Yeah, of course. I always try to um, watch all of your videos, Serena, and I'm very interested in Grand Theft Auto, of course. Um, probably tomorrow morning, though. Morning coffee. And Kristen says, Super Antonio, your bond with Sadie is a bond of friendship that cannot be broken or replaced, my friend. You all make a great pair, the both of you. Yeah, the... um. It's not a cliche, man's best friend. Okay, let's grab these geese. Or turn around to chase them. But they've had... <clears throat> it's like 10,000 years of history of, of dog and man working together. Since the caveman days. And it's, you know, it's like, it's in, it's in my genetic makeup and your, gen you know, it's like, in, it's in humanity's genetic makeup as in addition to the dogs that they're supposed, to, that we're supposed to be together. Neo says, you ever feel bad playing low honor? I couldn't do it, LOL. Yeah, um, all the time, Neo. It's hard. It's a discipline to maintain bad honor is not in my nature. And there are some things I can't do. Like I couldn't kill that woman. I can't be mean to Tilly or Abigail um, or um, Mary Beth. Just don't have it in me. Can't kill horses in good honor or bad honor. But you know, it, it is also kind of freeing. Like anytime somebody knocks you over, you can just shoot him. Can't kill dogs. That dog's usually hostile. But I wouldn't... Um, I'm only doing it for the stream and for the views, the videos. I wouldn't do it if I was just playing this game. And I've said it before, but I miss Good Honor Arthur. Technically, we're going to play... Um, we're going to turn this Free Roam Fridays into a playthrough and do a bad honor playthrough with this Arthur. All the way to chapter 6. We're not going to do the epilogue. Just to see if we can get extra bad honor dialogue. I was so certain the ranchers would come out and tell us to get off my property. But they did not. So, this being bad honor Arthur... He decided to go look for him. Serena says, I always play good honor. I get in trouble by the law in game though, lol. Yeah, those lawmen have no sense of humor. Christian says, Super Antonio, what's surprising my friend is in chapter four and his honor is still in the middle. Now, um, I imagine that being neutral honor for the whole game would be difficult to maintain. Yeah, that's hard. I mean, the game wants you to start the game in bad honor and end the game in good honor. I mean, it's Red Dead Redemption, not Red Dead Damnation. But we're going to play Red Dead Damnation Odok says, I never feel bad. Convinced myself it's a game and to get extra experience, you need to try different things. That is an excellent attitude towards life as well, Odog. And Odok says, it's not a challenge to play good honor. That's true, it's not. It's second nature to me. And David's not here, but we need to shoot those frying pans. And that, me that melon or lettuce head. 
Now, there are some interesting things in here. Interesting anecdotally, not interesting. One free hat. I know you guys like hat. There is a guitar in here. Wish we could pick up that guitar and give it to Javier. Serena says, I might give it a try. I don't know if it's in me to do. Serena, you should just do it for the um for the views, for the channel, for your channel. Bad honor, Arthur. It is fun. It is there's um it's freeing, not caring. But you know, it eats you know, it's like it's impossible to save money. You go through supplies and ammunition like crazy. Everyone's mean to you. <laughs> yeah, nobody's happy to see you. No discounts at the at the store. I really like the pattern on these curtains. It's the first time I've seen that, I believe. So that might be unique to this actual um and there's a free carbine repeater if you need one. Those um, those curtains might be unique to this cabin. I've never seen them anywhere else in game. Christian says, but that sounds like what Arthur would do. His honor would be in the middle because he is an outlaw. It's just what we choose for him to do. But in reality, he would be neutral honor or a bit of low honor. It depends on how you play him. Like personally, I think Arthur, you know, like Mary Beth says, was an angry poet angry and sad and so he has he has a gruff exterior but it hides a it hides a kind heart kind of like me actually i don't have a gruff exterior serena says i do like to antagonize the camp and some npcs and law too yeah it's good for the channel serena good for your channel let's craft some explosive rounds we have 14, so we can do seven rifles and seven and seven um, repeaters. And we should also do seven um, revolvers. And then next week, we'll re rescue Micah so we can get the offhand. And we'll start moving this game forward. Actually, we'll also get supplies. We need more big game meat. We need more mint and thyme. Personally, I'd like to have 99. But that would be a pain and wouldn't make for an interesting stream. So I might do that off camera. However, that's about all I have for you, friends. Really appreciate you being here. Christian. Neo Mac, welcome. Arthur Morgan. Miko, if you're still here, thank you for being here, friend. We have a pet show video coming up, so you can send me your pets to reddeadsuperantonio at gmail.com. It's going to work exactly like a horse show, except with pets. Uh, shout out to the mods. Uh, Serena, Odog, David, Christian, the junior mod. Christian says, Super Antonio, you should make a video of Arthur getting knocked out in camp. Not sure if you knew. I did know. You could do that. Wonder what happens if John keeps antagonizing Uncle. Does Charlie or Sadie come to knock him out? I don't know. But I know we can get knocked out if we keep antagonizing people. It's just hard because I don't want to be mean to Miss Tilly or Mary Beth. Um, appreciate all you friends. We shall return for the horse show tomorrow featuring the Black Arabian. Thanks for being here. Enjoy the rest of your night. And, um,